Hi everyone, I'm Erin, and in this video tutorial, I'll show you one method to combine vintage graphics and your own photos to create a digital Valentine's Day collage. To complete this project, you'll need Adobe Photoshop, graphics from thegraphicsfairy.com, and your own photo. This is a very easy project to complete, even if you have very limited Photoshop experience. I'm going to break everything down into easy to follow steps. Step 1. To get started, let's open up the Photoshop application. Really quick before we create our new document, I want to point out a couple of areas I'll be referring to in our Photoshop workspace. Up across the top here, we have our menu items. Over here, we have our panels that help us adjust different elements within our projects. Over here, we have our tools. And just below the menu items, we have our options bar that helps us customize the tool functions. I also want to point out a tool that I'll be frequently using here called the Move Tool. With the Move Tool selected, go ahead and check this box in the options bar labeled Auto Select. Now when you're using the Move Tool, you'll be able to grab different elements on your canvas like your text or your image and move them around easily. Under the menu item file, let's select New and a dialog box will appear and we can name our document and set the dimensions. So if you're not sure about the dimensions, you may want to size it approximately to the graphic you chose. For example, the graphics I'm using are square, so I'll go ahead and choose 700 by 700 pixels. Now I'm going to set the resolution to 72 because I want to share this collage via the web. If you're planning on printing your collage, you may want to set the resolution higher for better print quality. Now we can click OK and our new document has been created. Step 2. Now it's time to bring our graphic into the document and modify it. For this particular project, I've chosen these cute images from thegraphicsfairy.com. I really love the retro hand-drawn style of the frames in particular. So if you choose to use a different graphic from the ones I've selected, try and select ones that have white or light colored backgrounds. For the particular technique I'm going to show you, those will work better. Under the menu item file, let's select place and we'll use the dialog box to find and select the graphic we've saved to the computer. There we go. Now the graphic will appear with a black outline called a bounding box. If we hover our mouse cursor just outside of one of the corners, we'll see a double-headed arrow appear indicating that we can resize the graphic from that point. So let's click and drag out to resize the graphic. And to maintain the original proportions, we can hold shift while we click and drag. Once the image is the size we want it, we can double click within the bounding box to commit those changes. Now let's go over to the layers panel and right click or control click on the layer containing our graphic. And in this flyout menu, let's select rasterize layer. And this is going to allow us to erase parts of the graphic that we don't want to include in our collage. Step three. So I'm really only interested in the frame. So let's grab the eraser tool here and erase the boy out of the center. We can change the size of the eraser by adjusting these areas in the options bar. Next in our layers panel, let's open the drop down menu here labeled normal and select multiply from the list. This will make all the light areas of the graphic transparent and it will overlay our photo really nicely. Step four. Now let's place our photo in our document. Again, let's go to the menu item file and select place. And we can find and select our image. There we go. Let's resize it by dragging out the corners of the bounding box. And remember, we can hold down shift while we click and drag to keep the photo's original proportions. And to commit those changes, we'll double click within our photo. So we need the graphic to be in front of the photo and we can easily change the order of the layers in the layers panel. We can just drag and drop the layer containing our photo beneath the graphics layer like this. Step five. To complete our collage, let's add some text. So select the text tool right here and click anywhere on the canvas. Now we can type and 
To commit that text, we can press Control Enter or Command Enter. Now we can style the text using the character panel. And if you don't see your character panel, let's go to the menu item window and select character from the list. With our text layer selected in the layers panel here, we can use the character panel to modify the font, size, color, etc. Now if you wanted to arc or warp your text, we can go to the menu item type and select warp text and adjust these options here. Step six. Okay, now we need to save our collage as a JPEG so we can share it. So let's go to the menu item file and select save as. In the save as dialog box, we can name our collage here and choose where it will be saved on our computer. And in the Format drop-down menu, we can go ahead and select JPEG and click Save. Next, we'll see an additional dialog box for our JPEG options. For web, let's set our quality from 8 to 10 or higher if you're printing and click OK. OK, well, our collage is complete. And now we can share that JPEG file in an email or on Facebook or on a blog. If you're interested in learning more about creating collages using Photoshop for your blog or other personal projects, you can check out my online class, Photoshop for Blogging, Creating Collages, at Skillshare.com.